Imagine you're about to kill a mosquito, but what if I told you it's living through the most terrifying existence in the animal kingdom? Every minute you watch this, mosquitoes will be responsible for two human deaths, yet their own lives are a nightmare of constant fear and impossible odds. In the next 30 minutes, you'll see why almost every mosquito is doomed from birth. Meet the species that could end civilization and discover why wiping them out might erase chocolate from your life forever. Stick with me. By the end, you'll never look at a mosquito the same way. Picture your first moments of life. Instead of a cozy crib, you're laid in a puddle, surrounded by hundreds of siblings. For a mosquito, this isn't a nursery, it's a battlefield. A single female lays up to 300 eggs at once, each no bigger than a grain of sand. Within two days, they hatch into wriggling larvae, blind and helpless. Their world is a watery war zone. Below the surface, predators lurk everywhere. Dragonfly nymphs, looking like tiny monsters, shoot out jaws to spear larvae in milliseconds. Fish sweep through, sucking down dozens at a time. Water beetles grab and shred anything that moves. Out of 300 mosquito babies, only about three will survive their first week. That's a 99% death rate. Imagine if only one out of every 100 human babies survived childhood. That's the mosquito lottery, but the survivors adapt. They hang upside down at the water surface, using a breathing tube, like a built-in snorkel, to gulp air. When danger approaches, they dive, twist, and hide in underwater plants. They feed at night to avoid hungry eyes. After a week, the lucky few transform into pupae, tiny, comma-shaped cocoons. They can't eat. They can't move much. They just float, hoping nothing finds them. If they're lucky, they'll emerge as adults. But their nightmare is only beginning. Surviving childhood is just the beginning. As adults, mosquitoes enter a world where they're public enemy number one. They have seven to 30 days to do three things, find food, find a mate, and reproduce, all while dodging every weapon humans can invent. Humans spend over $2.5 billion a year on mosquito warfare, sprays, traps, nets, even lasers that shoot them out of the air. But here's the twist, 94% of mosquito species have never bitten a human. Most males and many females spend their lives sipping nectar, pollinating flowers, and minding their own business. Only a tiny fraction, the infamous 6%, bite humans. Yet those few have shaped the course of history. Mede Aedes aegypti, the yellow fever mosquito. If mosquitoes had a supervillain, this would be it. This one species spreads yellow fever, dengue, zika, and chikungunya. It loves human blood, breeds in bottle caps and flower pots, and thrives in cities. It's evolving fast, becoming resistant to pesticides, adapting to climate change, and moving into new territories every year. Dengue alone infects 400 million people annually. Zika causes devastating birth defects. Yellow fever can kill half its victims. Mosquitoes have stopped armies, collapsed empires, and changed the fate of nations. Napoleon's army in Haiti was destroyed not by bullets, but by yellow fever. The Panama Canal was almost abandoned because of mosquito-borne disease. But here's a twist you won't expect. The world depends on mosquitoes far more than you think. What if mosquitoes vanished overnight? Would the world celebrate? Think again. Mosquitoes are the main pollinators of cacao plants, the source of chocolate. No mosquitoes, no chocolate bars, no hot cocoa. In the Arctic, billions of mosquitoes hatch every summer. They feed birds, bats, and fish. Migrating birds time their arrival to feast on mosquito swarms. For some species, mosquitoes are the main food source for their chicks. Mosquito larvae feed over 400 species of fish, frogs, and aquatic insects. In some places, they make up 15% of the entire food web. Remove mosquitoes, and ecosystems could collapse. They're also pollinators for over a thousand plant species, many we haven't even discovered. They're tiny, but they keep the natural world running. Now imagine love is the deadliest thing you could do. For mosquitoes, finding a mate means flying into a swarm, tens of thousands of males buzzing in harmony, creating a love song only females can hear. But this song also attracts predators. Bats dive in, eating hundreds at a time. Birds swoop, dragonflies strike. The swarm that took hours to form can be wiped out in minutes. Females risk it all for one thing, 
blood. Not for themselves, but for their future eggs. Every bite is a gamble. One swat, one spray, and her story ends. But without that blood, her next generation will never exist. Now humans are fighting back with science. We're editing mosquito DNA, releasing sterile males, and creating gene drives to wipe out disease-carrying species. But what happens if we succeed? Could we trigger an ecological collapse? Are we saving lives or playing God with nature? So what does it really mean to be born a mosquito? Imagine a life where you're almost certain to die before your first week is over. If you survive, your entire existence is a desperate scramble. Dodging predators, escaping swats, hunting for food, and risking your life just for a chance to create the next generation. Every day the world spends billions trying to wipe you out. Your name is cursed in every language. Yet without you, entire ecosystems would unravel. Birds, bats, and fish would starve. Chocolate could vanish from our shelves. In human history, our wars, our medicine, our very survival has been shaped by your fragile wings. Since you started watching, mosquitoes have ended dozens of human lives, but they've also pollinated thousands of flowers, fed millions of creatures, and balanced countless ecosystems. In nature, nothing is simply good or evil. Even the world's most hated villain is also an unsung hero. Mosquitoes are killers and caretakers, victims and survivors. Their story is a brutal reminder. Survival in nature is never simple, and every creature, no matter how small or despised, has a role that shapes our world. If this journey changed the way you see the world's tiniest villain, subscribe to Zora and join our community. Next week, we'll expose the misunderstood animal that's quietly killed more humans than mosquitoes, sharks, and snakes combined. And it might be hiding in your own home.